Uh, remember, whatever you uh, get, whatever your result is for an integral, uh, if you take the derivative of that result, you should get back to the integrand. So I see the x right here. It's kind of weird. It looks like it's attached to the dx, but the x is inside of the secant. Um, now, usually what I would do with these, I would say, all right, guys, we got to take that squared out so we stop getting confused by it. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now because um, actually there's a formula. The derivative of what gives you secant squared? Tangent. So we put tangent. That's actually all you got to do, plus c. Now, if you were to take the derivative of this, would you get back to that? And the answer, absolutely. So uh, for this one, it was really simple. You just have to know the, the antiderivative or the, the derivative formulas for uh, some trig functions to remember this. Okay, um, and that's it. Um, now, if you wanted to actually do this the long way, which you can, you would have to do u equals secant x, um, and then go on from that. So you need to sub out, put the u in, and make sure you get your du and do all that stuff. But this is just way easier knowing the formula.